He starts shaking his butt and using the momentum of his balls to spank his own ass cheeks like a fucking paddle. MD Pope, aka MD POP, or most disturbed person on planet Earth, is a three part trilogy in which each installment is worse than the last one. Now, mind you, people can't even stomach the fucking first one. So just imagine how they feel about the second and third one. And the third one is so fucking bad. It's kind of like general uh, consensus that it's the worst mixtape ever fucking released. Uh, most people kind of agree on that. Uh, but we're going to be going over the first one. And the reason I'm re reviewing the first one. It's specifically because if you've seen my primitive review on it, I called it primitive due to the fact that it didn't have a whiteboard, which is when I categorized, you know, the clips. And I would say whether it was violent or gore or scat. And on top of that, I only went over like 10 to 11 clips instead of all 61. So I barely touched upon it. But now I'm going to touch it like a Catholic priest. Uh, so <laughs> pretty much what it is, the first one, it's kind of shock videos from the year 2005 to 2013. Your two girls, one cup. One man, one horse, and other shit like that. Four girls, finger paint, one girl, two girls, one finger paint, seven girls, and three beers, and all that other fucking number, person, number shit. You already know what it is. It was a very popular format to call things by that in that time and age. Um, a huge compilation of that. But then on top of that, it had stuff I've never seen before. Mind you, I do this shit for a living. And this mixtape literally had E.T. getting fucked to the point where she squirts. E.T. not making this shit up. Another guy had like goggles on and he sat under someone's seat and this chick was dumping so much <sighs> dumped like seven pounds of shit in his face and you had this guy in the background that's like saying that everyone who isn't in the position of taking shit to the mouth is envious and jealous. Uh, it's just horrible and disgusting on so many fucking levels. I mean, we're going to go over each and every single clip. And one thing I do want to bring up is just the way shot content has changed. I mean, back in the day in 2006 and 7, you would send people like two girls, one cup. Haha, ha, you got epic pranked. Two girls eating shit. But nowadays, you know, shot content has changed where people are going to send you something like Funky Town Gore, which is a guy getting his face ripped the fuck off and turned into a lampshade. It's pretty much evolved or devolved, depending how you want to put it. But the point I'm trying to get to is, this is kind of primitive to what people have seen nowadays. So before we get into the history lesson, make sure you like and subscribe. That shit helps me out a lot. It really does help my channel get out there, and I appreciate the love and support. Go ahead and type in your comment. You know, I don't know, anything positive, negative, I don't give a fuck. Just appreciate the support overall. Getting into the history lesson. This was copyrighted and released in February of 2013. It was copyrighted on the 11th and released on the 13th. I don't know who the fuck copyrights content like this or how you got away with a copyright. I mean, don't they have to view the shits? In order to get it copyrighted, I guess, I, I don't know. I mean, how do you sit there and watch a video of someone eating a log of shit? Like, yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it. This is fucking insane. The, the fact that this is actually copyrighted, it blows my fucking mind. Um, and it was made by M.D. Thomas Cinema Gore. Now, this is two hours and 27 minutes long, or almost two hours and a half, and there are 61 fucking clips. Of just some of the most disgusting, depraved shit you're ever gonna see on the internet. And if you do find some of this on the internet... It's probably by fucking accident. So with that being said, let's bring out the motherfucking whiteboard. Now, before we actually get into the whiteboard, I'm proud to announce that this video was sponsored by Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a service that encrypts your data and keeps your real IP address hidden no matter where you land. This means any app, game, website, or program that uses your internet will route all of your data to their service, keeping you 100% incognito from anyone with bad intentions. And they're currently giving it away with deals that cannot be matched by any competitor. One is on my pinned comment section below, and one is on my description. Atlas VPN is available on all devices, which means Makes me want to bring up the fact that there's a huge prominence with chat rooms nowadays and you know people who go into these chat rooms all the time they drop ip grabbers now you may be saying what does an ip grabber do i don't know uh, they grabs your ip and when you click that link once it grabs your ip that person is now able to backtrack that get your address once they get your address they're able to get in contact with the homeowners from you know getting their cell phone numbers their names and their personal information and just like that all your personal information and private information has just been compromised from clicking a single link. All that can be prevented if you have Atlas VPN. Plus, there's a bunch of other cool stuff you can do with Atlas. Now, if you go on Netflix in the US and you put in The Hobbit, it sadly does not come up. Let's open up this VPN, click France. Now that we're connected, we're just gonna click the refresh button and here the movies are, simple as that. And as of right now, Atlas VPN has an incredible deal, which is 82% off, which equates out to $1.99 
per month which if you compare that to all the other competitors most vpns are ten dollars a month eleven dollars a month twelve dollars a month that's over a hundred dollars a year compared to atlas vpn which is less than twenty five dollars a year that is seventy five percent less than all the other competitors why throw your money out the window when you can get a better product for seventy five percent cheaper plus there's a thirty day money back guarantee so it's not like you're gambling anything again you can go ahead and try it out and get your money back. Link in the pinned comment section below. Link in my description. I know that you're interested, so everything is left right there. Join the 5 million plus people who depend on Atlas VPN every single day to keep their cybersecurity safe. In MD Pope 1, you have 61 clips. And out of these 61 clips, 11 of them are porn. And by porn, I just mean porn. Yeah, like people actually having sex. That's actually in here, believe it or not. Now, 11 of these clips are animal-oriented. You know how these Japanese women treat rabbits and cats. Fucking sick in the head. And you also got one man, one horse. Nine of these clips are gore. Now, gore, as you do know, is extreme violence where entrails are coming out or people are being fucking beheaded. It's just over-the-top gruesome. Eight of these clips are porn gore, which is any gore that includes anything sexual, like people fucking sticking screwdrivers in their cock or putting jars up their asses. Eight of these clips are scat. If you don't know what scat is, it's a, it's, it's a shit fetish. And people get off at eating big lumps and clumps of shit. It, it, that's, what, that's what scat is. Five clips are sexual, so it's not over the top to the point where it's porn, but it's kind of just sexual. Like, I don't know, a finger in the pita, a little kissy kissy on the bum bum, nothing too crazy, it's sexual. Three clips are violent. Now, by violence, I kind of mean, you know, it ain't gore, it ain't like you're bleeding everywhere, it's like kind of like a smack across the face or a punch in the nose, it ain't too bad. Three clips are just what the fuck, like, like literally shit that you'll never fucking forget till the time you die. Two clips are vomit, which I... Hope that's self-explanatory in one clip was just so fucking downright disgusting and gross that I literally had to put it in its own separate category. So with that shit being said, let's get right into the review. So before I get into this review, I do want to say this much. This is nine pages fucking long. My typical review is five pages, six pages. This one is nine pages. It may be an hour and a half, two hours after I'm done editing. I don't know. We'll figure that out by the end of it. But with that shit being said, this is going to be my longest review at the end of it so let's go ahead and take it from the top and get right into it and it opens up by saying it's a very illegal production which is just bullshit it's not illegal it's like when lebron james calls himself the greatest basketball player of all time it's just shit talk it's not true or when i say i have a seven inch penis i hate to say it but it's not true my penis is not seven inches uh, it's just shit talk my dick's more around 13 inches um i know that's embarrassing a lot of humility uh, and I hate to admit it. I just really do. You know, I don't want people to know that every day I wake up, I step on my cock. It, it sucks. It's horrible. Every time I have to put my penis away, I have to fold it up like a wallet and stuff it in my drawers. It, it's horrible and it's, it's a curse. Now, with that being said, there's a warning that comes after. And the warning reads, I am the most disturbed person on planet Earth. The footage you're about to see is an electronic documentation of the world's most darkest I've seen in shocking media. This film has been created to prove that my infamous name is not a joke. I set out to create the most disturbing piece of media in the world, and I believe that I have succeeded. This right here is pussy repellent. You are allergic to vagina. There is no fucking way. You did this, and at the same point in time, you've touched a woman's hand. It doesn't go together. It's like calling Africa cold or fucking Antarctica hot. Doesn't make any fucking sense. I mean, this guy's probably spent more time inside of a locker than inside of a classroom. This shit is just embarrassing to read. It's so fucking cringe. I mean, he said piece of media unironically. Anybody who uses the phrase piece of media, you already know what these motherfuckers look like. Probably entering discords and shit saying, is the word stupid and poopy banned because... I need to know if this is a safe space. Those type of motherfuckers. Um, it's just embarrassing. Piece of media. Like, do you have a fucking P crew profile picture when you say piece of media? It's not like a fucking dork. And I know shit from back then is gonna age horribly, but this was cringe back in 2013. Piece of media. That is bullshit. <laughs> it's the most dark and I've seen. Scary ookie dookie. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. God, man. Reading that shit literally took six months off my life, man. 
So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go into this mixtape review. And it opens up by saying 38 years without ejaculation of masturbation. Uh, so this whole entire thing opens up with a guy who's wearing his pants up to his waist as you wear pants as if you wear them up to your fucking neck. And it looks like there's a head growing out from between his legs. But it turns out when he pulls these down, you see this shit. I'm going to try to show as much as I can. I don't know if I will show this. We'll figure that out. But he's wearing tidy whities that have drawstrings. Drawstrings are meant to be tightened and tied so, so your fucking underwear don't fall down. This means this guy's balls are so big that every time he puts on normal underwear and boxes, that means his underwear and boxes go down to his knees or his ankles. So that means his balls are almost as big as mine, which is fucking crazy. I mean, he's up there. Uh, now, going after that, I do want to say the plants in the background are pretty nice. I do like the scenery. Um, but then... It literally jump cuts, and I kid you the fuck not, to him having his bare ass to the screen, full moon, I mean wolves are howling, he starts shaking his butt and using the momentum of his balls to spank his own ass cheeks like a fucking paddle. <clears throat> then he grabs his balls, starts jiggling them like he's in a shop right checking the produce section of whether or not the vegetables and, you know, fruits are ripe. He just keeps on just... <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Then after this, he's in a shower washing himself. Uh, then it cuts to him sitting on a floor, bare ass naked. He's jerking his gherkin, stripping the chicken, spanking the monkey, pounding his meat, whatever you want to call it. And when this guy ejaculates, I kid you the fuck not, it looks like an uncorked champagne bottle. The way the semen just keeps on leaking out. And at a point, he's sitting in an entire puddle of cum. Like he is swimming in a pool of his own semen. And he's coming all over his stomach and chest to the point where his belly button is overflowing with so much cum. You can give this guy a fucking belly shot. And mind you, also, while this is going on, his balls are fucking deflating. Because there's just so much cum in them. And I don't know, uh, from what I heard, it's because he injected his dick and balls with, like, uh, silicone or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm not a chemicalologist. I wouldn't fucking know. But it's definitely injected with some shit. And one thing I do want to bring up is the fact that if you look in the bottom right corner... This was apparently hosted at a website called monsterballs.com. You heard that fucking correctly, monsterballs.com. And you know me, curiosity gets the best of me sometimes. So I went on monsterballs.com and apparently the domain name is up for purchase. If you want to buy it, you can buy it. You're probably thinking it's 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. That shit is $3,500. 3500 a used fucking car for the domain name of Monster balls. Holy fucking shit. Like, is it really that crazy of a domain? 3500 God damn. Uh, but yeah, if you buy that shit, I don't know who you are, but if you buy it and upload this video, I promise you I'll collab with you. You want to talk about My Little Pony or Care Bears? We'll do that. You'll get the video. I promise. Uh, then after that, you get this guy's bare ass to the screen. It looks like there's a tangerine in his butt. Then it looks like there's an orange in his butt. But as he pushes, it's an entire fucking basketball in his ass. And I don't mean the, you know, the Chuck E. Cheese basketballs where it's as big as a baseball. I'm talking about an NBA basketball where it's bigger than your fucking head. The ones that Kobe and Shaq use in the NBA. I don't know whether or not I should be fucking impressed or disgusted. It's an entire basketball up this guy's ass. And your asshole is as big as like a fucking, it's as big as a bottle cap. That's how big your asshole is. And he put a fucking basketball in there. <laughs> I don't know how much lube you need or how much time you need, but just know he gave birth to his butt. Uh, okay. Next video you got is called Do Not Watch AK Chomp. If you don't know what Chomp is, imagine like um a seat, but this seat is cut out in the middle. And the specific reason why this is cut out in the middle is so when someone sits on it, their ass cheeks hang out inside the middle and catch some air. And the reason they do this is because they want to poop and piss on people. So you got this chick sitting in this seat. And I'll tell you right now, her clit is so big, it looks like her pussy is growing a fucking thumb. And while she's sitting there, there's a guy under her wearing scuba goggles. And they're not being used to be scuba diving. And she just starts spurting shit in his face, like in, in rhythmic patterns. And it starts out watery. Then it gets semi-solid and chunky. And then by the end of it, it gets completely solid shit and it, it the way it goes from being soft and watery to solid shit it's almost like you're watching a laxative slowly wear off 
And I'm telling you right now, this guy is eating that shit the same way like a fucking seal eats a fish. I mean, no hands needed. And then he starts eating it like how a baby eats cake, just stuffing it in his fucking mouth. And I'm telling you right now, that plate is clean the fuck out. And while this is going on, you got someone in the background saying, beautiful, marvelous. Anybody in this position is envious. They're all jealous of you while he is eating mountains of shit. You can't make this up. I mean... If this goes on for two to three fucking minutes, and I swear to God, it's like waiting at a fucking doctor's office. I mean, it feels like forever. And, and one more thing I do want to bring up before I go on to the next clip is the fucking fact someone tried to call me out in a Discord. I kid you to fuck now. Inside this pussy ass Discord. And they were trying to talk shit about me because I found vomit disgusting. They were trying to say some shit like, oh my god, you're kink shaming. Ooh. You sound like a fucking dork. Are you serious? You're, you're calling me out for saying that vomit and poopy and pee pee is gross? You know what you should do? Go on Twitter, write a mean tweet saying, oh my god, this YouTuber named Cold Raven hates poopy. Let's see who looks like a fucking weirdo at the end of that one. I, I don't get it. Kink shaming? Shit, piss, and puke is not a kink. I don't give a fuck if there's consent. Just because there's consent doesn't make it okay. Because remember that guy in Germany who consented to have another man cannibalize him? They both consented, so it must be okay, right? No. Consent does not mean okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're criticizing me. Like, there's so much shit to criticize me for. You can criticize me for my shitty beard. Uh, it's just my fucking accent, how obnoxious and loud I can be. But you criticized me. Uh, for fucking saying shit and puke is disgusting, I literally put my chin out and said, give me a best shot. And you were like, are you fucking stupid? There is so much shit to criticize me for. And that's what you chose. That. <laughs> oh man, you don't even have room temperature IQ. You have fucking Antarctica temperature IQ. You're a fucking numb nuts, man. You're an idiot. Uh, then after that, you get this clip called Kitten Bait. Self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and say this before I get into this disclaimer. I fucking hate cats. I think cats are annoying. I think they're the second worst animal you can own uh, next to birds. I think birds are the most expensive noisemakers you can ever get. Uh, birds are pieces of shit. I fucking absolutely hate birds as much as I hate cats. I hate birds more. I mean, you're spending, what, 800 bucks just to have something go like, wah, wah, in your fucking house all day long. Why would you do that? I grew up with birds, always hated them. Uh, birds remind me of my ex-girlfriend, right? They stand there and make noise all day. They fucking stink. And they barely let me have sex with them. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> that's a bird, sorry. Uh, and the reason why I think cats are superior uh, to nothing and inferior to dogs is because if you die, right? Your dog will die of heartbreak. But if you die and you have a cat, a cat will eat your corpse. That's true shit. That happens all the time. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, it's a bunch of people using like fucking cats as bait. Don't worry about it. Uh, I did my fucking research. Turns out it's all fake because at the end of the video where they're using kittens as bait, they're like, oh, make sure you please fucking donate to this organization. You look into the organization and it's a four profit organization. Uh, I looked into it and it turns out not only are the videos fake, but again, Every single time you give these people money, they put it in their pocket just like a Catholic church. Ooh, baby, man. This is fucking ridiculous. Like, they would literally fake that shit just to take money from you. Uh, one more thing. Check out this cool furry toy. I don't know what this toy is, but if you can tell me in the comment section, uh, please let me know. It's pretty kick-ass, and I want one. That's page one. So we're going to go ahead and go into the second page. <clears throat> So right here we got one girl, one pitcher, no baseball included. And it's this chick who's tied up to a bed frame. And she, they, okay. You can already tell where the fuck this is going. So they grab one of the, you know, the comical beer mugs, the big ones like Homer Simpson and, you know, Peter drink out of. They put that right under her pussy. And she starts pissing in this motherfucker to the lip. She drinks her own piss. And then after this, the guy who's there, he looks like he's from fucking, like, Home Improvement. He starts pissing in this shit. And his piss is dark and fucking, like, neon yellow. She drinks all that piss. Then it jump cuts to her having a face full of fucking ass. Then they start shitting all over her. And then they put shit on her forehead and shit on her face like she has a crap beard. Uh, and then they start they're just... <coughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
And they just smother her and shit. And while this is going on, she has these gigantic fucking nipple clamps. You know those clamps you use to put your clothes and hang them outside like back in the 60s? I don't know if people do that anymore. But those clamps are on her nipples like some jumper cables. Big motherfuckers, man. Like they are squeezing her titties. Uh, then after that, you get Funnel Girl. Motherfucker. Like, yo, this just scat after scat. So, Funnel Girl, what this is, you know those walker things that they put inside a bathroom so people who are handicapped can take a shit in peace? Um, they grab one of those, like, walker things that they put on toilets. They put a toilet in the middle of that, and under that toilet is a, like, fishbowl. And under this fishbowl is, like, a, like a pipe, uh, what do you call that? A tube, a tube, a tube, right? And this tube is, like, to a mask, and this mask goes to a man's face who's laying directly under it. And all this is see-through, by the way. You can see through this. And this chick, when she sits on this toilet, I kid you the fuck not. No forecast could have predicted this weather because this bitch starts shitting up a fucking storm. I mean, holy fuck. She sits down and starts getting to work like she's working overtime. And just the amount of just like this constant blast of ass in this guy's face. I mean, her dookie dump is on fucking overdrive. And it's like, it, it comes out like a machine gun. And this whole entire fishbowl is filled with shit. And while it's filled with shit, you can see it go down through that, that tube. And now this tube is filled with shit. And this guy's mask is filled with sh is filled with it as well. Which is pretty gross within itself. But the part that makes it even fucking nastier is the fact that you see it slowly go... You see it... You see it... You see it slowly go down... Because this guy is eating it at such a high rate. He's just swallowing. He's chew, chew, swallow, chew. He's eating this shit like a dog. He's just swallowing it all. And you just see the tube go down and it's completely clean the fuck out. I mean, what was once full is now empty. And then she's like, yo, this guy's job is not done. He's only getting started. And she grabs a spatula. And the rest of the shit that's in that bowl... She kind of like forks it over into the center and then pushes it down the tube and he eats that as well. So he not only did he get dinner, but he got seconds. <sighs> Motherfucker, I fucking hate this shit. All right, so we are back. And you know my camera cuts off every 15 minutes just to preserve battery life. So we're going to go ahead and pick it back right up. Uh, and right here we get the Syrian donkey push. Now if you don't know what this is, it's two assholes on a cliff. One of them is recording. One of them is pushing and kicking a donkey off a cliff till it falls to its death. Um... I'm not going to sit here and be like, this is despicable and this is horrible. I'd be preaching to the choir. Yeah, it's fucking bad. Virtue signal o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and just do that for the next five fucking minutes. Yeah, it's bad. And I saw other YouTubers cover it and they say some goofy ass shit like, if I ever get my hands on these guys, like if you got your hands on these guys, they'd probably kick your fucking ass. There's two of them and one of you. And, and what are you going to do? You're going to go to fucking Syria. You're going to get a plane ticket. This shit happened 15 years ago. You can't identify the guys. The, the camera quality is in 480 pixels. You're just going to somehow find them and just kick their booty cheeks for throwing a donkey down a mountain. No, you won't. You're not going to do shit. And if you could, they'd fuck your ass up. Uh, so going on to the next one. These fucking stupid empty threads. I hate empty threaders. It sounds like a fucking idiot. Um, going, to, going on to the next shit. You got this pregnant woman who gets her ass whooped. Uh, now, she's not taking a shower, but she's still in a bathtub. So I'm assuming they dragged her into that shit. They start stomping her and kicking her. I mean, they beat the fuck out of her, man. It is really horrific to watch. I mean, they start grabbing her head and bashing it at the foot of the tub. Like, she's in the tub getting it banged against that shit multiple times. And I know some of y'all may have a heart attack. Uh, because this is like, it, it may be so disgusting that you may pass out. And I'm going to describe it to you. They start pouring soap on her. Yeah. That's the worst part. And, you know, judging by some of y'all profile pictures in Discord, you may just fucking die for me telling you that part. Yeah, they pour soap on her. Something that you've never fucking seen before and something that you're probably allergic to. Uh, so going on from that shit, the next video, you got the Mexican Chainsaw Beheading. Um, most infamous gore clip out there of all time. I would definitely say that. Uh, and there's really not much to say. I went over this shit like a thousand times. So here's what happens. One of them gets their head chainsawed off. Other one gets their throat cut with a knife. And would you believe that this was over five smack of -oos? Five. An Abe Lincoln. Over five stinky minkies. They got their fucking heads cut off. I'm not even joking around. I'm not dicking around. That's not a joke. Over five dollars. Uh, now the only two things I do want to say is when this guy was getting his head chainsawed off, the other guy got sliced in the arm by accident with the chainsaw. And I just... 
Like, his face, like, he, he didn't even give a fuck. Like, his game face was good. He was just... He ignored that shit like it didn't even happen. And then when the guy starts cutting his head off with a knife, you can hear him screaming through his throat hole. That was the part that was really fucking disturbing. Otherwise, again, this is my first gore video I've ever seen. I saw it when I was like 11 or 12. Someone showed it to me at school. Uh, in sixth grade, yeah. Sixth fucking grade, so. That's what that is. Um, then you get the anal birth of Bert. If you don't know Bert, the Sesame Street character, he apparently was birthed anally. So what happened was, it's like some weird-ass biker club or some fucking cult. I looked into this shit. And they decided to grab a toy doll of Bert and shove it up someone's fucking rectum to the point where it's in his stomach. And then after that, they suspend him in chains like fucking Dean from Supernatural. He's just up and suspended in the air with chains like when Dean was in hell. And then he starts pushing out Bert, but that's not what happens. At first, they start anal fisting him. Then they start anal footing him to the point where this guy's being worn like a fucking shoe. I kid you the fuck not. I mean, we've all heard the threat. I can't wait to break my foot off in your ass. This one was apparently a compliment. I mean, he wanted this. This was like threatening him with a good time. He did want to foot up his ass. And that's what he got to the point where he was bleeding anally. And then a doctor came in. A, a fucking doctor. I don't know if it's someone dressed like a doctor or a real doctor. But imagine just being a doctor and being fucking hired to help someone birth birth anally uh, so the doctor cleans all the blood off his ass because of course there's blood on his ass he had a whole foot up there and then the doctor helps him deliver Bert anally uh, so Bert comes out he then gives him the, the toy doll of Bert and he starts holding it and coddling it like it's a real baby mind you Bert has like shit in his hair and, and just like <sighs> it, it's fucking really bad I mean this goes on for like 10 to 15 minutes it's really fucking horrendous uh, just look up anal birth of bird if you want to see that shit. Uh, then you get one man, one screwdriver, which is a hundred times worse than you think what it is, right? This guy shoves a screwdriver in his dick. Now you're probably like, eh, it's not so bad. No, he shoves the handle of a screwdriver in his dick. Not the pointy part, the fucking handle in his dick hole. Then he shoves a jar up his own ass. This is like apparently the same guy, you know, Jaw Squatter, aka One Man, One Jaw. The guy who shoved the jar up his ass and it bursted. Apparently, this is the exact same guy. I mean, I know that signature move from somewhere. That's his finisher, his ultimate, his specialty is shoving a jaw up his ass. I mean, it's the same place, too. It, it, I, I can literally, like, I don't want to be that guy, but I know that butthole. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that butthole before, and that's his. That's his. That's his butthole. And he shoves a jaw up his butt, but this time it doesn't break, so either he's getting better at it, or maybe the one that did break was like at the end of his career and he's just not in his prime no more. I don't know what the fuck to say. Uh, but then after that, he pulls out the handle of the screwdriver out of his dick hole. Then globs of blood just start coming out. And he starts bleeding everywhere. So, I mean, I guess no matter what this guy does, he just keeps on bleeding in these videos. Uh, and there's blood all over the floor. Blood in the sink. There's blood in the bathtub. But at least he was able to get the jaw up his ass successfully. But one thing that always bothers me is that you really shouldn't be shoving anything up your ass. But if you do want to, um, there's like a million things you could do with that shit. Like there's literally sex toys and sex stores dedicated to shoving things up your butt. But this guy just loves the mason jar. He loves the mason jar up the ass. You know what I'm saying? It's, the, it's like the exact same one. Just like part of the same set but just smaller because it has the same designs on it. Uh, so after that, we're going on to the next page. It's one man, 15 kilos. If you don't know what kilos are, it's like, you know, it's another weight. And what I'm talking about is 15 kilos is kind of like 28, 29 pounds. Let's just call it 30 pounds even, right? And it's a giant propane tank. <laughs> and he puts these two giant soda bottles next to it and ties it all together. <laughs> he grabs a rope and ties it around his balls. Okay, I kid you the fuck not. And you know how you do push-ups, sit-ups. This guy's doing testicle-ups where he's like squatting down and squatting up. Lifting these 30 pounds with just testicular strength on its own. And he does this multiple times. He's playing some scary-ass music as well, man. And he starts like punching his dick and jerking it and shit. Um, so he's probably getting off at this shit. Um, after that, you get a bunny crush video. Which, again, I'm not going to sit here and virtue signal. Oh, hurting animals is bad. Yeah, we all fucking know that. We're all grown-ups. We know that. And I said I wouldn't get mad at any of these animal abuse videos because, again, I, I, I wouldn't. I want to think that I'm not childish enough to be like, oh, I'm going to kick their butt because I know I can't. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're like a billion miles away. But this one did get me pretty much fucking pissed. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and typically, I keep my composure. But what really 
fucking pissed me off is that not only was this on like some Japanese channel, it's called like On TV Japan. Uh, but the point that this fucking bitch literally taunted, she was killing the rabbit, and then she looks at the screen and does this shit. You know that typical Japanese smile peace sign shit? <laughs> I'm not even a front. I started to feel my blood boil. I was like, you motherfucker. Because she knows she's going to get away with it. She, there's nothing you can do about it. And it was just that cockiness that she could just think she does whatever the fuck she wants. Like like she's above the law. She made me want to smack the fuck out of her until my hand was bigger than a baseball glove. I mean, holy shit, it did get me pretty pissed. And I, and I hate the empty thread shit, but that really got me mad. Um, And what makes it even worse is that there's multiple videos of this same exact chick in the same exact room with different animals. That's what makes it the absolute fucking worst part about it. Then you get these feces tortures thing. So what I do need to tell you about this is bullying in America is pretty much simple. I'm going to shove you in the locker. I'm going to take your lunch. I'm going to smack your lunch. I'm going to spit in your food. I'm going to take your lunch money. I'm going to flick you in your ear. I'm going to give you a wedgie. I'm going to fuck with you. you know? I'm not going to go too far. I may kick your ass if you try to step up to me. But bullying in Brazil is tying you to a flagpole. And force-feeding you human shit and smothering human shit because that's what happened here. So this is exactly what, I mean, that's pretty much it. These people were recording this chick while she's tied to a pole and they're just smearing her face and cocky and just sticking it in her mouth. And they're laughing and giggling because apparently that's funny. Uh, now what makes it even nasty is the fact that they are grabbing shit without hesitation. They're just like, yeah, like they just juggle shit all day. Um... Which I do want to say this much, bullying is a very risky business. It's a very risky stock investment. Because if you know George St. Pierre, almost one of the greatest mixed martial artists to ever exist, you know, undoubtedly, he was bullied throughout his whole life. And look at him. Look what he turned into, a man of men. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy's a fucking beast. One of the greatest men to ever exist. And then you got Dylan Klebold. I don't think there's really much of an explanation needed here. We all know who this guy is. He shot up a fucking school with his best friend over there. His fucking butt buddy. And that's kind of the duality of bullying. It's risky business. You can either make a really great man or a really evil douchebag. Uh, so that's what that is. Uh, then after that, you get Legless Fuck. Which Legless Fuck is this short chick with no legs. She's getting fucked and it plays like a, like a, like a, like a, I guess a midget voice. And while she's getting fucked. Uh, then after that, you get One Guy, One Jaw. Our best friend, Alexi, whose signature move is shoving a jaw up his ass, in which he does that. So, I made jokes about this in the past where I was like, oh yeah, he probably just went to work after he had shards of glass in his ass. That's actually what he did, yeah. He did pull up his pants after having shards of ass in his butt, shards of ass, shards of glass in his ass. Yeah, imagine having shards of ass. He uses ass cheeks to squeeze one inside of himself. Uh, he just pulled up his pants, went to work because he was so embarrassed about it. I, I, first things first, what possesses you to shove a jar up your ass? And if it shatters, you pull out half the shards. And mind you, this guy was bleeding profusely. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all watched this. It was globs of blood. An entire pool, like in Vice City, you know, when you kill someone and they have that giant pool of blood? That much. Probably times two of that out of this guy's rectal cavity. And you just pull up your pants and go to work. <sighs> that's what that is. And apparently, I, I don't even know if he ever went to a doctor, but that's what he did do originally. Uh, then after that, you got Mr. Hands. <laughs> Which is fucking funny. Because I have some shit to tell you, because I did some research on this. So here's what happened. The guy got into a motorcycle accident. If you don't know what Mr. Hands is, it's one man, one horse. This guy got into a motorcycle accident. Um, and then he wasn't able to kind of get himself together. Uh, and then he ended up having a fascination with animals. And he used to go to this farm with a couple of friends and take horse cock in the butt. Now, this happened in 2005, and one thing I do want to say, I thought this only happened once, I thought he took one horse stick up of the butt, and then he died from it immediately. That's not what happened. Apparently, this was a pattern. When he uh, died and his friend was arrested, they found hundreds and hundreds of hours of all of them taking horse dick in the butt. Think about that. There's not just one video, the one that we saw that killed him. No, they found hundreds of hours of just horse penis and human ass. And to make matters even worse, Washington, I believe that's where it happened, uh, animal, you know, like zoophilia was not banned over there. It wasn't banned. So they all got away with it. The guys who survived, like, uh, survived, like they were attacked by a horse penis. The guys who got away with the crime were not charged, which kind of begs the question. If animal porn is banned, that's fucking disgusting. 
if animal porn isn't banned, that's fucking disgusting. Because if you have to ban people getting fucked by animals, that means people are getting fucked by animals and people don't know any better. But if you don't ban it, that means you're allowing people to fuck animals. So it's a lose-lose situation. It's kind of one of those, like, uh, you lose either way. It's disgusting and it's disgusting and it's just sad overall. Yeah, but there was hundreds and hundreds of hours of them getting fucked by horses. All right, I'm going to be dead ass with y'all. I'm not playing around when I say this, but I'd want E.T. to give me a blowjob. I never thought I'd say that in my life, but I'd want E.T. to phone home and give me dong. And if you know exactly what clip I'm talking about, you got E.T. or a woman dressed up as E.T. Sucking the skin off this guy's dick. I mean, she is charming his snake. Now, you kind of got two ways of blowjobs. You got the sloppy toppy, which is a cringy-ass term. But that's when chicks just gawk on your dick till they got drool rolling down their lips like a fucking bulldog. And then the eyes are, you know, watering. I don't like that shit. I think it's very disturbing. I feel like I'm hurting the person when that shit's happening. And then you got, like, this romantic, delicate, masterful blowjob that E.T. is giving. I mean, E.T. looks like... She's handled a fucking penis, like, uh, just masterfully. Like, she's a black belt and sucking dick. I'm not even fucking with you. It, it, you can just see it for yourself. I'm not fucking around. And while this is happening, these guys who are dressed up like in, like, rich men from the Civil War are just fucking, you know, one guy, one girl's getting fucked, and then the E.T.'s getting fucked by this guy, and this guy pulls out the Kama Sutra on E.T.'s alien pussy. I mean, he fucks E.T. in, like, 50 different positions. Fucks E.T. standing up, laying down, one leg right here, one arm right here, three heads over here. I mean, just fucking the shit out of E.T. You can't make this shit up. Uh, and then he pulls out and nuts on, like, the, like on E.T.'s ass, and E.T.'s ass looks like if you took, like, one of those brown paper bags and let it submerge on the wall for like a year or some shit very disgusting brown and wrinkly um then after that you get the syrian prisoner who's getting smacked around nothing too crazy um and this prisoner is getting smacked so they have like stripes all over their body like a fucking tiger uh and that's pretty much that then we're gonna go on to the next page right here and you got it's called big dick syndrome something i suffer from and this guy's dick is like this fucking massive. It looks like the same guy from the first clip. And he strokes his cock till he comes. It takes him like four or five pumps. And he's in the middle of the woods, by the way. And you can see like a dirt path, you know, right to the side of him. Like imagine walking in the woods. You see a man with his pants down to his ankles and like a fucking dick so big. It's bigger than like three arms. And he just stares at you while it's swollen shut because seven wasps stung it. And he just nuts all over the ground. That's a fucking sight. That, I mean, you wouldn't go down that path again, ever. Ever. I mean, do you even report this guy? I mean, you'd be scared that he'd come after you. Uh, but after that, you get two girls, one octopus. <sighs> Japan, Japan. It's a chick in a tub and she has an octopus in her pussy. And she gives birth to it and then they put the octopus on her butt. Then you get two kids, one sandbox. There ain't no kids in the damn show ain't no fucking sandbox. I saw this when I was like in 7th or 8th grade. Um, it's this guy and it's in black and white so it's very old porn. And they do what's called sounding. If you don't know what sounding is, it's the sexual act of sticking something inside of a man's pee hole. Uh, apparently, some men find it sexually stimulating. So she grabs like a small dildo. And mind you, this shit is like as big as like a popsicle stick. I mean, in length, but in thickness, it's probably as thick as chapstick. Starts fucking his penis hole until his dick starts splitting in half at the top. And he's just like grunting and moaning because he sounds like he really enjoys this shit. And that's just what that is. Uh, after that, you get bad salt sex. Which is literally my evidence on why porn stars should not talk at all. So you get this chick who's getting fucked, right? And she's acting like she's getting taken over and possessed by 30 demons simultaneously and they're all fighting over her body. This guy's fucking her. She's just screaming and yelling like stupid shit. She's like grunting too like, oh, fuck this pussy like you paid for it. Like, like it sounds like the exorcist, right? Uh, another one. Here's a famous quote from her. Fuck my pussy till I have no pussy juices left incredibly intelligent because as we all know porn stars are incredibly smart that's why they're porn stars you know if you're a porn star it's just rule of thumb shut the fuck up that's pretty much it i mean someone needs to tell you that i remember there was this one porno where this chick was getting her ass eaten and she looked back and said this and i quote lick those two tailbones how fucking stupid. You have one tailbone. I know it's gonna be that dumbass in the comment section but the tailbone has five bones in it Okay, so my hand has 27 bones in it. Doesn't mean I have 27 fucking hands, you dork. The fuck? 
Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's what's happening. And uh, I did look into her catalog. Her name is Destiny DeVille. Uh, I'll, you know, if you ask for it, I'll let you know in the comment section below. And she does this in every fucking porno. She does have an amazing ass. An amazing ass. She's like Arabic British or some shit like that. Amazing ass. Great skin tone. Uh, definitely my favorite type of skin tone. Her mouth just needs to be taped. Um, after that, you get anamorphic shit. So what it is is these people in Japan, and three of them are dressed up as like animals. One's dressed up as like a pig, another one's dressed up as like Bojack Horseman, and another one's like King from Tekken. And they fuck this chick, and uh, like her boyfriend's like cowering, like oh, oh, it's hot, oh, oh. Like, you know, you know how you know how they fucking are. Every time they see a penis or whatever in Japan, they fucking oh, 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 oh. that stupid shit. And these guys just run a fucking train on her. I mean, they fuck the shit out of her and cover her in nut, uh, and that's pretty much it. Then you get baby yoga. Not Baby Yoda, Baby Yoga, which is something you've seen in Vietnam, and I actually looked into this shit. Very popular in Vietnam, and ABC News did cover this on YouTube, so if you want to look it up, just type in Baby Yoga on YouTube. Um, and it's this chick swinging a baby around like a fucking nunchuck. I'm not fucking with you. Like Bruce Lee in Fist of Fury, she is just swinging this motherfucker around and throwing him in the air like a wet towel. And apparently this is yoga for a baby. Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you seriously this stupid? There's no way you're that dumb. I just don't believe it. I mean, I, I can't believe that you're that dumb, but you clearly are. Um, so, you don't have to be a doctor. And doctors were talking about how you shouldn't do this to babies because it could be very bad for their health. I don't know. It's almost like, you ever heard of baby shaking syndrome? How you shouldn't shake a baby, much less throw them in the air like a fucking pizza? You ever heard of that one? Oh, oh newsflash, people. I don't know if you guys know this, but babies are incredibly fragile. I don't know if you guys know that, but they are incredibly fucking fragile. Holy shit. And this is not like it's something that's uncommon. This is incredibly common as well. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, man. Uh, then after that, you get a deadly traffic accident. It's a dead grandmother on the floor. Uh, these two parents are holding a dead child. His head is opened up and there's no fucking brain in there. Pretty much that's what it is, the morning. Uh, then after that, let's go on to the next page, page five out of nine. Good damn. Uh, you get Pete's. Fuck. Motherfucker. PTJ002. It's the trailer to it, and it's more scat. So you get this chick who puts her amazing ass up to the screen. Too bad there's fucking Dookie coming out of it. And this. Sh okay, this shit coming out of her ass, and it's the same color as Chicken Bouillon, which is like a golden brown. <laughs> Very... <laughs> then she starts eating it. Uh, then it jump cuts to her being held upside down, tied like a turkey, covered in so much shit, it looks like a fucking fake tan. And they grab one of those leather flails and whip her in the back. She's like, hey, 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 while she's getting whipped in the ass with it. And you see shit flinging and flying. Off. <laughs> shit flinging and flying off of her. Next clip you get is called Nut Abuse. And what this is is some guy has like a dog collar around his balls. And his chick is pulling on the motherfuckers. And she's kneeing him and kicking him in the balls. And while he's doing that, he's yelling like, uh, while she's doing that, he's like yelling like Tom from Tom and Jerry. Like the, yeah, And you know, you're literally getting your balls abused purposely. And then you're going to scream about it. I don't understand. I'm not into cock and ball torture. When I sneeze too hard, my balls hurt. The fuck would I want someone to knee me in my balls? It's, it's just crazy. It's fucking crazy shit. Um, after that, you get this uh, cat dryer thing, which apparently is the same guy from One Man, One Ice Pick. And what happens is he grabs his cat and throws it into a dryer. Now, some people may think it's horrific, but the only reason I wasn't so shocked by it. Hold on. Oh, you knew that shit was coming at some point. Take that shit with you. Sell on eBay for like $7.99. The reason why I didn't think it was that horrific is because when he opens up the dryer... The cat doesn't give a fuck, which we all know cats. Cats don't give a shit. They don't give a flying fuck, a crawling fuck, a swimming fuck, a jogging fuck. They don't care. Uh, and this cat just seemed indifferent. So he puts the cat back in a dryer, slams it shut, spins it for like 20 more seconds, opens it, and the cat's just lounging in paradise. Don't even give a fuck. So, you know, it's fucked up that you're doing that to a cat. Obviously, that's still animal abuse. But at the same point in time, the cat don't even give a fuck. So I thought that was pretty cool of the cat. I, I was actually thinking he would open up like, and just claw his fucking face off. That would have been cool. <laughs> Yo, cats are so tiny, but their nails are so sharp, man. Holy shit. Uh, then you get a three guys, one hammer crime, right? 
you know the guys who did three guys one hammer apparently they have like a slew of crimes like a rap sheet and they recorded some of it and apparently this is one of them i can't you know confirm this but this is what it is called they just nonchalantly walk down the alley oh, da, 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 and then they cut off someone's fucking ear and take it with them not even joking it's like a corpse that's already gray and decomposing they start stabbing in the eye socket like, hey you there and let's take the fucking ear. Then they take the ear like they're in Vietnam. And you can see some of the neck fat on the side, which made it pretty fucking disturbing. Um, after that, you get two guys, one stump, which is like a legless Henry Rollins, you know, stump fucking Chuck Liddell and his asshole. While it plays the Mario Power Up music, you know, the thing, 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 the thing, thing, the thing, thing, which I would play for you. But the Nintendo will literally sue me for every single penny I have. Okay, you've seen Nintendo. If you would say the word Nintendo too clearly, thank God I have an accent, they will sue you for like half a billion dollars. That's what these fucking people do, and I've seen it all over YouTube. Um, after that, you get horny little Smurfs. Um, which these people are not Smurfs, but they kind of are. I mean, they look like Smurfs, but they're not really Smurfs. Uh, and what they say is, uh, slip it a Mickey, then give it a dicky. If you don't know what a Mickey is, when you slip someone a Mickey, it's, a, it's like a date rape drug, you know? And this is all animated. There's no actual two fucking inch Smurfs raping people. Don't worry about it. You don't need to check, you know, make sure you don't have any underwear goblins. Um, it's an old ass cartoon. They, you know, slip her a Mickey. She passes out. Then they start pulling on her nipple and doing all this other shit. Um, then after that, <laughs> they <laughs> they grab like uh, like a tube and they put it in his piss hole. They start going up and down to like fill his dick with air till it's like the size of a human's. He starts fucking this chick, comes all over this Smurf, and this Smurf is literally like in an ocean of semen. He sits up, spits come out of his mouth like an orca whale spits water, and he gets so mad that when he climbs out of this pussy. He stabs the inflated dick with a like a like a needle, and then his dick deflates. And he's like, "Yeah, that's what you get, pretty much." Um, and I, I don't think getting poked in a penis is the equivalency of getting a mouthful of cum and swimming in it. I mean, that's pretty much like life or death after that. Uh, then you get failed necklacing, uh, which if you don't know what failed necklacing is or necklacing in general, it's typically common in more African type of places where they put tires over your head and they try to light you ablaze as a punishment for stealing. Uh, and yeah, they actually do this if you are homosexual in, you know, foreign countries, which obviously in America, it's more accepted nowadays. Uh, and even when it wasn't accepted, it's not like people were fucking killing you for it. People weren't lighting you on fire for this shit. Now, holy, how fucking barbaric. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is fucking crazy. They literally put tires on this guy and try to light him on fucking fire. And the part, okay, this part really got to me. You know, it's not often that I get very emotional. I'm not an emotional person, but <laughs> this part really got to me. They put a blue bucket on his head. <laughs> yeah, they put a blue bucket on his head, and then they uh, then they light him on fucking fire. Uh, so after that, let's go to page six. <clears throat> and you got a, a British ball cut, which I'm not going to front. I'm surprised that a guy in Britain cut off his balls because I didn't know British people had a pair. Uh, but when it comes down to it, this guy puts rubber bands around his testicles uh, to the point where they start like dying and you can see they become very like loose and then they start turning gray and then they start turning blackish green. Then he grabs a razor and starts to cut off his own fucking balls uh, and he's like, oh, these are stinky. Oh, they stink? Yeah, they're fucking dead. And he, it takes him like two days to actually do this shit. Then he kind of plays amateur surgeon and grabs like, you know, scissors that you use to cut open a packet of meat before you cook. He starts using those. So imagine that. You go to grab a pair of scissors and it smells like ball funk. And he cuts off his testicles and does like a showcase. Like, oh, here's my two testicles and here's my scrotum. And he kind of goes over the entire shit. Like it's an art project. Uh, then you get one lunatic, one ice pick. Which, more times I fucking think about this shit, the funnier it gets. Now, it's really fucked up. It's a tragedy. It's horrific. Everything that happened in here is terrible. But I have been cursed with having such a wild imagination. And you can hear it in my videos. I have such a wild and crazy imagination that I think of the funniest fucking scenarios. And here's what I'm going to tell you. So... What happens is the guy, Luca Magnata, that was his name, he starts stabbing his uh, ex-boyfriend because he, like, he fucking got him over. Then he stabbed him like, a bunch of times, tied him up, slit his neck. Um, then after that, he fucking kills him and all this shit. He starts cutting him up into pieces, starts performing necrophilia on him. He literally tries to eat his ass literally with a knife and a fork, uh, starts pulling out chunks of it, starts making his dog eat this fucking guy because after he sawed off his... I mean, this, this fucking thing is insane on so many fucking levels. I mean... 
Each and every single thing that should be in its own category is all in one singular video of just disgusting and fucking disturbing and, and horrific, right? Uh, but the part that gets me is that this guy, I'm not even fucking with you, he literally cut off people's limbs, cut off this guy's limbs, and he sent it to, like, elementary schools. Like, oh, oh, he, he sent this guy's human remains to elementary schools and humans... It, 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 who does that? Who sends human remains to elementary schools and middle schools and shit? And what made me laugh is that, like, back when I was a kid, we used to have people that work in the mail office. I don't know if you know about this. Um, maybe your school didn't do it. Maybe it did do it. But, like, you would have students, and I did this in elementary, middle school, and high school, where they would sift through the mail and be, like, you know, separated. And I'm just imagining little fucking David is like, oh, my God, we got a package. And he starts shaking it, thinking it's a PlayStation 2 for the school, opens it up, and it's a human fucking head. I mean, holy shit. That's an unwelcome surprise. Like, when I sneak into the girl's bathroom, I mean, it's fucking horrible. You know what I'm saying? Now, we're going to know I just said that, but <laughs> that's the point. It's fucking horrific. It's like, holy shit, this guy sent human remains to schools to be discovered this guy's fucking out of his mind um then after that you got four girls finger paint which the title is misleading but then it's not okay are there four girls yeah there are four women are they finger painting they sure are finger painting what are they using shit okay so this chick literally lays on her back shoulders puts her legs in the air and another chick soft serves shits inside of her butt i'm not even joking I mean, like a pig at a trough. She just looks at these ass cheeks with a huge, giant mountain of shit in the middle and just smack dab into that motherfucker and starts going to chow town. I mean, she had directions to that motherfucking place. And then they start grabbing the shit and painting each other's bodies and painting and making these amazing art canvases. Um, so I guess art hoes used to be different back in the day. So you get this next clip, and the title is called Retard Porn. I don't think she's retarded or has any type of mental issues. I think she's just your typical woman. Uh, <laughs> so, so, what, <laughs> so, so what happens is, is this, <laughs> this chick has no teeth in her mouth. She's clearly like some sort of meth addict. And then this guy gets a gum job from her. I mean, she has no fucking teeth except this one little snaggle tooth in the corner. And, um, he starts getting top from her. I mean, her body, like, you know, she looks, she has like a, you know, like a 30-something-year-old body. It's not wrinkly or sagging too much, but her face looks like she's like 95. That's how you know someone's on drugs. When their face looks a lot older than their body, that's how you know it's fucking meth or heroin or some shit. Typically meth. Meth gives you that meth face and meth mouth. Um, but then this guy starts fucking her. And I'm not even fucking with you. She has an addiction. He's giving her a dick. Shin. I mean, that's why they call it addiction, because you're going to have to take dick for it. I mean, he starts fucking the shit out of this chick. I mean, he's hitting that shit to the point where I had to just zap the dude up. I mean, motherfucker, he was slamming her. Holy shit. I mean, it was fucking pat that motherfucker on the back. He was giving a zick. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. Next one, uh, it's these piece of shit police officers, which in my opinion, of course, it comes down to the individual. Some people can be trusted with the badge, and sadly, some people can't. Sadly, some people go through the whole program and the training, and it turns out that they're horrible people. It's all about the individual. You can't group an entire group of people all because of, you know, the bad things of one or two different people. You can't do that. Um, so this police officer is beating the shit out of this teenager in South America. South America, obviously. Um, and then... <laughs> he puts a bucket on his head just like the other guy that I'm trying not to trying not to break down uh, then you get eel soup which is just a clip of gusso milk where they put eels in his chick's butt using a funnel uh, then you get e Middle Eastern backslashes because in the Middle East apparently as like a sacrifice to like their god or like to show that they're worthy uh, you know Allah they fucking slam like blades into their back multiple times and it's not even like this shit is like this is a one off I mean, while these guys are doing it, you can see that their backs are scarred from all the years of doing this. I mean, these scars are like red, some of them are orange, and just haven't healed properly. It's pretty fucking disgusting. And this one dude slashes himself in the back and gives himself like a minor gash. Then he hits that exact same spot, like booyah, on the fucking money. And then his back just turns into a vagina and just splits in fucking half. I mean, it's really horrible, man. Uh, after that shit, you get Mr. Dick Torture. That's literally this guy's name. That's the name of the clip. 
And Mr. Dick Torture literally has his penis sliced in half. He has it pierced in all which way places, uh, like four fucking times. And he has more pins in his penis than they're on a pin board. And he like jiggles his half cut cock till he comes out of like this little tube above his testicles. Um, then after that, you get two girls, one cup. Do I need to explain this? It's literally two nasty ass women eating shit, which I know there's this huge controversy. And my controversy, I mean, you can't get more controversial than eating shit. Uh, but the point is people are like, it's real. No, it's fake. It's real. It's fake. Because the producer, the guy who like uh, did it, said that he has in the past, um, you know, replaced the shit with chocolate ice cream, right? Dog. If you see two girls, one cup, you literally watch shit come out of her butt. Like, you... You watch it come out of her ass. It's like, what does she have? An ice cream machine in her coolie? Like, there's no way you don't fucking fake that. There's an... Oh, the, she shits! And they eat it! Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't fake it. Oh, it's because, um... They cleaned out her butt, and then they put chocolate in her butt. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking? You sound fucking stupid. So, you're telling me she walked around with fucking uh, an entire gallon of ice cream that was cold as a motherfucker and just stuffed it in her butt. It just sounds, sounds ridiculous. And when ice cream, uh, obviously, is going to come in contact with the human body, it becomes a liquid. It doesn't become a solid. Like, just logically, you don't, you don't fucking hear what you're saying, some of y'all. Yeah, has he faked it in other pornos? Yes. Did he fake it in this one? Oh, the fuck? No, he did not. God, I'm tired of arguing. Like, I I know scat porn, okay? Not that I jerk off to it, but motherfucker, as much as I watch of it, I think I know what scat is. That shit was real. Uh, then you get Heel Kitten. Which, again, another Japanese chick torturing a fucking cat. Because she's a piece of shit, and that's just what it is. I mean, she steps on the cat, puts the heel through its mouth, through its eye. It just hurts the cat overall until it's dead. And then she smiles like a fucking piece of shit at the end of it. Like, it's something funny. And it really just makes you want to take a chainsaw to her face. And that's just what that is. Um, then you get turdgasm. Which, turdgasm apparently is just two girls, one finger. So, if you don't know what two girls, one finger is... It's, um, this chick taking, uh, fingers in the, okay, it's these chicks that I'm making out. These Asian chicks, surprise, surprise, uh, there's a lot of puke and shit involved, and at a point she takes a massive shit, I kid you the fuck not, I mean, this dookie looks like this fucking microphone. But just so you know when it has like, it looks like a lumpy and fucking shit like that. I mean, fiber is not in her vocabulary. I'm telling you that right off the jump. And it's this thick ass, hard fucking brick shit that comes out of a, out of a butt into another woman's mouth. And she takes that motherfucker like a champion, okay? And that's what happens. And then after that, you get human animal prison. Uh, so, like, I guess this is in Brazil or someplace in South America. And these people are training prisoners how to become animals. Like, they are actually training them and engineering them to become animals. Not like they aren't, but like into like dogs and wolves and shit like that. And you got this guy whose teeth are missing in the front. Hold on. Oh. Take that shit with you sell on eBay for like $12.99. Again, I don't burp purposely. It just happens when I swallow a lot of air because I talk fast. So this guy has no teeth in the front. And uh, there's people moaning and shit. And this guy literally, who's acting like an animal, he's growling and fucking biting at the air. He's acting just like a dog. He grabs this guy's inflated, infected penis. And he's using it like it's karaoke. He's like, dooga, 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 doo. I'm not even fucking with you. He's singing into this guy's infected cock. Um, then he turns the guy around and like bites his ass cheek like a fucking dog. Uh, and I'm not against biting asses. You know, there's been times where I playfully bite my girl's ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like he... Bites the shit out this motherfucker's ass. Then instantly stands up and tries to fuck him in his rear end. Uh, then they have another guy who's trained to be a dog human or some shit. And no, I'm not a furry. An actual dog human that will fuck you up and bite your face off. And they start snipping and biting at each other like it's a human dog fight. Don't invite Michael Vick. Um, so there's that. People are fucking sick, man. Uh, you get Octococ. Which, what this is, it's, it's fucking fake. Uh, I actually, at a point, I'm not going to hold you, I thought it was real because it looks so fucking realistic and it's disgustingly slimy. Uh, but this guy with like eight dicks, it's like on a rotation thing. I mean, it looks like a gun from like a free-to-play game. Uh, and she starts sucking all eight of his knobs and then they all just come on her at the same exact time simultaneously. It's pretty stupid and goofy. Um, after that, you got this soldier who's so angry. He stabs like this corpse like a billion times in the stomach and the head. Uh, then he, like, double knife stabs it. He acts like a fucking berserker out of, like, the Viking era. This guy is just fucking nutty. Um, then after that, speaking of nutty, 
You got this fucking chick who literally gives this guy a blowjob. He pulls his penis out of her mouth, comes on a table. She grabs a credit card, moves over the semen, and snorts it like a line of... Like a line of coke. The only thing I do got to say is that they have the same fan as me. This fan right here. Pretty cool. I think that's dope that they have the same fan as me. Otherwise, fuck these people. And they also use their TV as their computer monitor. Anybody who does that has big dick energy. If you actually have like an actual computer monitor, you're an idiot. Uh, you're a try hard. After that, you get these potato thieves. <laughs> okay. So listen to me here. Let's talk about the word logic. Some people don't like this word. I happen to really, really love this word. It's called logic. So there was these guys who stole potatoes, which if you find out that someone stole potatoes, chances are you got your potatoes back. There's no way, you know, they ate the potatoes and then they shit. Oh, look, there's potato skin in his shit. They must have stolen them. Like, no, you got your potatoes back. So people are stealing potatoes. Chances are they're really hungry and they're really poor. And this is also in a really poor country as well. So what they decide to do is then cover these guys in gasoline. What's worth more, two to three potatoes or fucking gasoline? They waste like two gallons of gasoline to light these motherfuckers ablaze. And, and the part that I found even more fucking stupid, I'm not even going to tell you, man, is the fucking fact that these people were screaming after they got lit ablaze. Like, what, were you surprised that they got lit on fire after this guy threw gasoline on top of them? That's like me running at you with my fist like this, and then you're surprised that I punched you in the fucking face. You saw it coming. Ah! Yeah, you got lit on fucking fire. Don't steal potatoes, people. Fucking horrible. Then you get a BME Pain Olympics comp, which um, BME Pain Olympics is real, but then it's also fake. Like, there's a couple of BME videos that are fake, uh, and then there's people who literally just make um compilations of genital mutilation and just call it BME. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the original ones are fake, but the compilations that people made after the fact are in fact real, and um. When it opens up, it shows someone's, like, expanding asshole talking to you, saying hello, like a speaker at a McDonald's. Uh, then someone's getting their dick electrocuted, someone's mallet mashing their penis, someone's smacking a needle into their dick, got needles poking out. Uh, then you got the ultimate fucking underwear villain. I mean, this is the guy that's gonna kick Superman's fucking ass. He has, like, an underwear on his face that has strings tied to his penis. And you know those tubes where you get your poster in them? Like, one half is taken out. He shoves his cock inside that half. And under it is a spray bottle in which his testicles are hanging in. I don't, I don't know what kind of weapon this is. Uh, maybe a WMD to destroy half the fucking globe. Uh, but that's your underwear villain. Uh, you get people putting screws through their dicks, screws out of their dicks, putting knives in their dicks, uh, cigarette burning their cocks, and then also fucking cactuses. That's just the beginning of it. It's a huge compilation of some of the most heinous shit I've ever seen done to genitals. <sighs> yeah, this is a lot. How do you think I fucking feel right now? After this, you got Terrible Meal, which I already did a video on that. It's an Asian chick who decides to eat a whole bunch of fucking food. She pukes it up, eats it again, pukes it up. She eats it again, and she does this like four to five fucking times, and it's just disgusting. I did a review on that shit. I don't think I'd ever be able to stomach it. I mean, she couldn't even stomach her own food, you know what I'm saying? So, after that, you get Goatsy Girl, where her butthole literally looks like a fucking mushroom from Minecraft. This guy's fucking her in her butt. It's just normal anal sex, and after that, her asshole looks like an expanded red mushroom. Uh, and this guy comes in it. And then when she expands her asshole outside, uh, it's like a meat rose and then the cum leaks down from her butthole into her own fucking face. It's disgusting. Um, then you get another failed necklacing, which here's advice uh, from me. I'm not an expert when it comes to avoiding necklacing. But typically when people are being necklaced in Africa and all these other countries and shit, or, or it's continents because Africa is a continent, um, they usually just sit there and let it happen. Have you tried... Oh, this may be a good idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this may be like a life hack. But if someone's trying to set you on fire, have you tried running away? Have you tried that? Have you tried, like, you know, getting up and running away? I saw people doing that, and that's exactly what this guy does. He literally runs away, and he wins. He he wins! Yeah, and there was a whole bunch of people. Yeah, they're going to throw shit at you, but you're, but you're not burned alive. Um... And you know what they say, no dog has ever peed on a moving car. So, again, shout out to Jerry the King Lawler. 
you can't light someone on fire if you're moving. Um, after after that, you get PTJ003, where there's a Japanese woman, right? They're puking on each other, okay? And while they're puking on each other, it looks like cinnamon oatmeal is mixed with chicken soup. And they get it in a... <laughs> I don't want to do this shit. They get in a fucking huge bowl. And they start slurping this motherfucker like it's a remedy. And they do this fucking multiple times. And they're just covered in fucking puke. That's pretty much it. We're going on to the next one. Uh, it's, it's an attempted rape in a prison. Like It's very dark and, and like um, it's dingy. You can barely see what's going on. But apparently the title says it's, a, it's an, uh, apparently it's an attempted rape at a prison. These guys are holding this guy down and trying to do shit to him. And one of them starts tickling his rib cage. Saying, tickle, 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 tickle. I'm not even fucking with you. Uh, and while this is going on... Uh, like, you hear, like, club music in the background. So, it even begs the question, are they actually in a fucking prison? Or are they, like, some abandoned house or, like, some abandoned fucking alley or place trying to do this shit? I mean, you can hear club music in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear it like it's coming from next door. So, unless there is clubs next to fucking prisons, I'm pretty sure, you know, by the look how dark, dingy, and abandoned this place looks, it wasn't from a fucking prison. Um, so, after that... We got one more page to go over. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish this shit up. And right here, you got this guy with a massive dildo that looks like Jewish or kosher bread. And this thing is like three feet long. You call this shit the intestine toucher. Okay, and it's covered with so much lubricant and cream, it looks like Cool Whip. This guy takes that entire thing all the way to the stomach and just starts pounding his ass on it. Like, just going at it and taking it like a champ. Uh, after that, you get what's called like the foreign porn. You get this guy who looks like Triple H who grew up in a fucking radiation center. Face is all fucked up and malformed. This guy can't even walk. He has crutches. His body, when he gets naked, looks like a punched in fucking keg. And then they get this hot ass hooker to suck his dick and he nuts in the face after a minute. So two things. Not only is he getting more action than you, but he looks better than you. Um, <laughs> so after that, you get what I'm going to switch around. I went over Octopus Girl earlier, but actually I need to switch these around. Now, what happened earlier... I described it as Octopus Girl, and what's happening now, I'm going to describe as Genki Genki, which was happening before. So, it's these people, like these two women, with octopuses, uh, they're rubbing each other with this shit, and then they start grabbing like a fat-ass octopus arm, I guess it's already cooked or some shit, uh, and they start shoving it up each other's pussy, it's literally like tentacle porn, but in real life. So, there's that, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, then you have the absolute last of it, the last three clips. One girl, one tampon, which is the dumbest fucking video ever. Like, as soon as the video opens up, she gives her first name and her last name. So she doxes herself. So just in case you couldn't recognize her by her face, she doxes herself. Um, which, I don't understand why the fuck someone would do that before doing something. You shouldn't even do this, period. As if you should dox yourself before doing this. And I guess she thought she would be, like, popular in school if she ate a fucking used tampon. When she grabs it... Puts it in her mouth and sucks it like a tea bag. And then apparently after this she went to school and like was getting bullied by everybody. Which rightfully fucking so yes good. Good job America. Bully the fuck out of this girl. What is that? What did you think you were going to go to school and be like oh high five. You're that girl who sucked that tampon. Oh high five. What the fuck is wrong with you? What did you think was going to happen? People were going to dap you up and think you were some queen? You're fucking weird. You have fucking problems. Okay. That's, you're sick. You're fucking sick. And that's pretty much what it is. Uh, after that, you get this guy who puts a cat in a blender. It's fake. I mean, you see the jump cut. He puts a cat inside the blender. Uh, and he turns it on for like a millisecond. Then you see the cat immediately turn to mush. It's fucking fake as fuck. Music is creepy as shit. I will say that much. It reminds me of like some, uh, some like tribal music. Like they're fucking like, they're like sacrificing somebody to like some fucking deities. It does sound exactly like that. Pretty fucking, you know, scary music for me at least. I thought it was a little bit, uh, not scary. How do I say this? Uneasy or unsettling. There we go. Uh, then after that, that same bunny crush bitch from earlier does it again. Um, and you can see the bunny from earlier on the floor dead. And then she does it to another bunny like a piece of shit. And that's pretty much MD Pope Volume 1. Whew. Man. That was a lot to take. I keep biting at my fucking lip because of the winter got that extra skin on my shits. Uh, but with that being said, now that it's finally over, I do gotta say it's still one of the worst mixtapes out there, even though I've watched a lot after it. 
Um, there's very, very seldom mixtapes worse than it. I would say Porn Girl Volume 2 is definitely worse than it. I don't think Volume 1. Uh, but yeah, from what I know, MD Pope 2, from what I've seen, is definitely much worse. And from what I'm hearing, MD Pope 3 is like the king of all mixtapes when it comes to worst of the worst. Um, so again, this is definitely holding up when it comes to disgusting, disturbing, especially me, who I find scat so fucking disgusting and like repulsive and same thing with vomit. I mean, the gore isn't bad, all that other shit. It's mostly the scat and vomit that gets to me. Um, and when it does come to gore, it's typically genital mutilation or anything sexual wise. But there are parts where there are comic relief, like when that Destiny the Ville chick was taking dick, but she was screaming like she was getting possessed by 64 demons. Now, it's just kind of corny. Um, the beginning was cringe as every single mixtape I've ever seen has some part that's cringe either the beginning or the end Because people who typically make mixtapes are social outcasts anyway who are doing this for attention So that's what the fuck it is. Uh, so with that being said still one of the most disturbing things out there I'm your boy Cold Raven. I'm gonna catch you the fuck later. Peace